It's a skeleton enjoying a hot Halloween coffee. If you're worried about God of War Ragnarok spoilers as you watch this video, please don't be. I won't do any. Don't worry about that. But I did finish it this week. All done. Watched the credits. As we've talked about on this show before, video game credits are too long to watch the entirety of. These are no exception. But they did start off with a nice song. You get to the part where we're looking at the design teams. They seem to be sorted alphabetically. And right after level design, we see player investment design. That sounded like a weird thing to me, player investment design, because that's everybody's job. Everybody, narrative, they're doing that. Audio, music, UI, everybody's in charge of player investment. QA, everybody's doing it. That's, that's everybody's responsibility. What is this team for? And I think we can all guess, right? I feel like we guess this is the team that's up to something, <laughs> that this is the team that is in charge of the mobile gaminess of a game, that the XP, the leveling up, the random drops, just the shiny incentives for you to keep playing. Everyone else is making the donut, and then this team comes in and sprinkles some sugar on top. So the thing about God of War Ragnarok is that I love this game. My player investment was super high throughout the entire game, but almost never because of experience points. Like, I can't think of a single node on that skill tree that I couldn't wait to unlock. I can't think of a moment where I found a new piece of armor and said, oh yeah, satisfying upgrade. Oh baby, a new enchantment wasn't said. So what does this team do exactly? Let's find out. So Sony on their YouTube channel has put up a lot of mini docs for God of War Ragnarok that now I feel comfortable watching. Again, no spoilers in this episode, but let's see if we can find anyone from the player investment team. My name is Ariel Angelotti and I am the senior producer for Narrative. I'm the story lead for God of War Ragnarok. And I'm the supervising dialogue designer. I'm a senior combat animator. And I'm a gameplay animator. I'm a senior VFX artist. And I'm a gameplay animator. Combat designer on God of War. I'm the art director. I am a character technical artist. And I am a senior character artist. I am the lead of the character concept team. And I'm the lead UX designer, associate UX accessibility designer. Rendering programmer. I play Kratos. Senior producer of the gameplay team. Stuntman for Kratos, as well as a stunt coordinator. Composer. Music production lead. Recording and mixing engineer. I'm in the music affairs group. Senior environment artist. 3D environment artist. Senior staff level designer. The level designer. Lead visual effects artist. The level design producer. The animation director. Eu sou Ricardo Juarez e sou o dublador do Kratos no Brasil. Okay, so nobody. Nobody from the player investment team is allowed in the mini docs. That's okay. But I found this, a PlayStation blog post from Anthony Demento, the lead player investment designer at Santa Monica Studio. Here's our answer. The player investment team at Santa Monica Studios is responsible for both player progression and exploration content. So we made sure to put some of the best equipment in our optional areas to reward those of you who take some extra time to poke around. So we get the impression from this post that the team develops the armor perks, rewarding rewards, the skill trees, kind of what you would presume. So I think exploration content in that sentence kind of just means the things you find as you explore. But as always, the beguiling word content continues to cover a lot of ground here. So naturally, when I wanted to learn more about this job, I just Googled it. I googled player investment design and investment design and player investment. There's not a lot of games that have this job title, apparently. You don't see a lot of people with it. I did find a few articles referencing Christopher Blom, the lead player investment design for Halo Infinite. Here he is. The Halo Battle Pass will never be taken away from you. And what I mean by that is once you buy it, it's yours and does not expire. So you're thinking, all right, the person who designs the season pass, probably. The most helpful thing on the whole internet that I did find is a player investment designer job listing for Bungie from January 2010. That's the year they put out Halo Reach, but they're hiring for Destiny. 
Here's what it says. Do you dream about creating worlds imbued with real value and consequence? Can you find the fine line between a reward that encourages players to have fun and an incentive that enslaves them? Can you devise a way for a player to grow while preserving the delicate balance of an action game? If you answered yes to these questions, and you are a passionate workaholic gamophile, you might want to polish up your resume and apply to be Bungie's next player investment designer. Firstly, yes, it is hilarious that they're looking for a passionate workaholic gamophile. Today that would be a big red flag. In 2010, Crunch was cool. But still, after reading that, I still don't, I'm not clear on what the responsibilities of this job are. So let's keep reading. A player investment designer develops a robust and rewarding investment path, supported by consistent, rich, and secure incentives that drives player behavior toward having fun and investing in their characters, and then validates those systems through intense simulation, testing, and iteration. So that's kind of helpful, right? That's a plain definition. Basically creating additional systems for caring to continue in a video game. But again, that post is old and maybe irrelevant. So I need a current job listing. I found one at Midnight Society, which is, of course, the studio co-founded by live action YouTube cartoon character Dr. Disrespect. They're looking for a senior player investment designer for their upcoming AAA game who will design mechanics which drive in-game player reward and incentives, give players long-term goals to invest in the world and their character, prevent by design griefing or exploiting any of the above systems, run simulations of these mechanics based on expected player behavior, and test these simulated results against actual player behavior and tuning the live system. All right, that's informational. We're learning more. I am stuck on the word griefing though. Who says griefing anymore? Doesn't that seem like kind of an old phrase? You know, come to think of it, a lot of that did seem familiar. Ah, okay, it's just copied verbatim from that 2010 Bungie post. It's just word for word. <laughs> to be clear here, I don't think that there's anything particularly unethical about plagiarizing a job listing. It's okay, but it is, in fact, very funny in the context of this discussion, but also not very helpful. So I found another current job listing for Guerrilla Games Senior Principal Player Investment Designer. So they are rumored to be working on a multiplayer Horizon game, and right now they're looking for someone to help create a variety of meaningful, rich, and rewarding investment systems. We are searching for an experienced designer capable of crafting positive mechanics that drive player comportment toward having fun with others and investing in their experience in relevant ways. Ah, yes, comportment. Obviously, every delayed input viewer knows what comportment means, but just in case one of you is not sure, let's go ahead and look that up. Comportment, behavior, bearing. He displayed the comportment expected of the rightful king. Okay, so another way of saying player behavior. Wait a minute. Do you remember when Bungie was looking for someone to develop a robust and rewarding investment path? Gorilla right now is looking for someone who will help create a variety of meaningful, rich, and rewarding investment systems. You remember when Bungie was looking to drive player behavior toward having fun and investing in their characters? Gorilla is looking to drive player comportment toward having fun with others and investing in their experience. Once more, not exposing a controversy here, I just think it is terribly funny that everybody who's making a job listing for this already ambiguous job title is just riffing off of Bungie's post from almost 13 years ago. Also, just an interesting bit about that 2010 job listing. At that time, Bungie's player investment designer for Halo Reach is Luke Smith, who would go on to work on Destiny and then ultimately become the executive creative director of the Destiny universe. Which sort of brings us back to what I wanted to say in this video, is that 
I think player investment design makes a lot more sense for a game like Destiny, a live service that is meant to hook players in for years upon end than it does for God of War Ragnarok, a single-player, narrative-driven action-adventure game. Personally speaking, just me here, just Kyle talking, I would say that was probably the narrative team that was the primary player investment designers of God of War Ragnarok. Like, again, just me saying, I would say, I would say the environmental team did more player investment work than the people who decided what rewards you get for doing the side quests. Christopher Judge, Kratos, and principal player investment designer. And just to be crystal, ultra crystal clear here, I'm not suggesting that the, the player investment team on God of War Ragnarok did a bad job. Not that kind of video buster. But I am wondering if maybe the hooks and systems they created would be better suited for a different type of game. So player investment designer is an interesting title. I think maybe antiquated. I think maybe it's just the words I'm stuck on. If they were called the sugar design team, I wouldn't have batted an eye. You make the sugar. As far as I can tell, player investment design is a term made up by Bungie for Halo Reach. I can't find anyone who had that title before then. Maybe you can, let me know if you do. And by the way, just to be complete with all of this, apparently someone named Lars Bakken was investment design lead on Halo Reach. It wasn't just Luke Smith. And Lars's most recently PVP design lead on Destiny 2 and will be senior design lead on Bungie's unannounced. So it seems like investment design is a good field to be in. Like, it seems like the fast track to career progression, even if they don't let you talk too much in the mini docs. It's probably worth it. Anyway, that's delayed input for this week. Next week, there will not be a new episode. I will be in LA doing a little investment design for the Game Awards. I'll be back two weeks from now. December 16th. Until then, thanks for watching. So I wanted to show you an example of what I consider to be good puzzle design. It came on the back of my Popeye's kids meal bag. Witness the solar search. You're supposed to find the names of a bunch of planets and also the word galaxy. It's fun, and I bet you're already doing it. I think a fun element about this is how many wrong roads there are, like Mercury and Jupiter's. Like, oh, that's that's so close to Mars. Mar-ar-ar-ar. This makes finding the real Mars so fun. Another thing I remembered while looking at this crossword puzzle is that sometimes I would have one for homework. Sometimes you would just get a crossword puzzle for homework, find these words. And I remember distinctly one of the most fun things to do is try to find naughty words in the crossword puzzle itself. Easiest one is always sex because it's three letters. And for some reason, like one out of 10 crossword puzzles has the word sex in it. So if we can find sex in this crossword puzzle, that will be a big success. I see pecs. Oh my God. C-nut. Careful, bro. ESX is pretty good. We can walk away happy with that one. Oh wait, sex. Nice. And so I give Popeye's kids meal bag solar search a 10 out of 10.